The African Continental Free Trade Area is the result of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement among all 55 members of the African Union. If ratified, the agreement would result in the largest free trade area in terms of participating countries since the formation of the World Trade Organization. African heads of state gathered in Kigali, Rwanda in March 2018 to sign the proposed agreement. 44 of the 55 members of the African Union signed it on the 21st of March 2018. The Continental Free Trade Area (CFTA) is a continent-wide free trade agreement brokered by the African Union (O) and initially signed on by 44 of its 55 member states in Kigali, Rwanda on March 21, 2018. The agreement initially requires members to remove tariffs from 90% of goods, allowing free access to commodities, goods, and services across the continent. The United Nations Economic Commission for Africa estimates that the agreement will boost intra-African trade by 52% by 2022. The proposal will come into force after ratification by 22 of the signatory states. History Initial planning for the agreement began in 2013, with negotiations held in 2015 via O summits. The first negotiation forum was held in February 2016 and held eight meetings until the summit in March 2018 in Kigali. From February 2017 on, the technical working groups held four meetings, where technical issues were discussed and implemented in the draft. On 8 to 9 March 2018, the African Union Ministers of Trade approved the draft at the extraordinary summit of the Assembly of the African Union on the 21st of March in Kigali. The agreement establishing the African Continental Free Trade Area was signed along with the Kigali Declaration and the Protocol of Free Movement. Other countries who signed the Kigali Declaration, including South Africa and Namibia, are expected to sign the agreement during the O summit in July. Negotiations will continue in 2018 with Phase 2, including policies of investment, competition, and intellectual property rights. On the January 2020 O assembly negotiations are envisaged to be concluded. South Africa, Sierra Leone, Namibia, Lesotho, and Burundi have since signed the AFCFTA during the 31st African Union summit in Nouakchott. Topic. Institutions Topic. Several institutions will be created when the AFCFTA comes into force. According to the results of Phase I negotiations the following institutions will be established to facilitate the implementation of the free trade area. As a result of Phase II negotiations more committees may be established via protocols. Topic. AFCFTA Secretariat Topic. The Secretariat will be responsible for coordinating the implementation of the agreement and shall be an autonomous body within the O system. Though it will have independent legal personality, it shall work closely with the O Commission and receive its budget from the O. The Council of Ministers responsible for trade will decide on the location of the headquarter, structure, role and responsibilities. Topic. Assembly of the African Union Heads of State and Government Topic. The Assembly is the highest decision-making body. It is likely to meet during the O summits. Topic. Council of Ministers Responsible for Trade Topic. The Council provides strategic trade policy oversight and ensures effective implementation and enforcement of the AFCFTA agreement. Topic. Committee of Senior Trade Officials Topic. The Committee of Senior Trade Officials implements the Council's decisions. The Committee is responsible for the development of programs and action plans for the implementation of the AFCFTA agreement. Topic. Dispute Settlement Body Topic. Its rules and procedures will be laid down in the Protocol on Dispute Settlement, which is to be negotiated. Topic. Committees Topic. Several committees will be established through protocols to assist with the implementation of specific matters. 
It is already agreed to establish committees for trade in goods, trade in services, on rules of origin, trade remedies, non-tariff barriers, technical barriers to trade and on sanitary and phytosanitary measures. Members Most O member states signed the initial agreement, including Benin, Botswana, Eritrea, Guinea-Bissau, Nigeria, and Zambia did not sign the initial agreement. President of Nigeria Muhammadu Buhari was particularly reluctant to join if it hurt Nigerian entrepreneurship and industry. <laughs> Human rights assessment an interdisciplinary team carried out a human rights assessment of the agreement as the negotiations were underway. This assessment was mandated by the UN Economic Commission for Africa, the Office of the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights and the Friedrich Ebert Stifting. The full report of its findings were published in July 2017, and a policy brief which its main recommendations were shared with African countries officials during the following negotiating sessions. Topic. See also Topic. Tripartite Free Trade Area Single African Air Transport Market Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Official website UNCTAD on the CFTA African Union official page